Hi, it's Brian, and this is Guitar Solo Reactions, and today we're doing the great Eddie Van Halen with that incredible band named after him, his brother, his family, Van Halen. And uh, today we are doing Unchained, and that was live at the Oakland Coliseum in 1981. This was the Fair Warning Tour, and I believe there's four songs pulled from this show. Um, Unchained, So This Is Love, um, and I'm not sure what else. I'll have to look, but I think it was four total. Maybe it was just three. I can't remember what the other ones were, but... It, um, I recently did Van Halen from 2015 live on Kimmel where I did Panama uh, just because that was one of my favorite uh, Eddie guitar solos. Uh, the song itself is pretty good, um, but Unchained and Fair Warning is obviously probably my number one Van Halen record followed by one and then two. Women and Children First probably... And um, uh, Dever Down, obviously, is dead last as far as the original great um, iteration of Van Halen. And in my mind, the only one. And uh, any true fan would say the same, I'm sure. So uh, here we are. And so they're still in their prime. Dave can probably still sing to some degree and uh, can put on a great show. So let's see what it's like. It's been a long time, probably three decades since I've seen this. So. Here we go. Did Eddie come in too early, or did David not come in at the right time? Or is that just my imagination? It seemed weird that he went to that, uh, the part where the vocal started like two bars early or something. Anyway, kind of a cool thing. I never... <laughs> This is my chance to fly Give me enough and enough for you But it's my chance to try But you never miss me Just like I got a bad city to try Real singers of the band. <laughs> Okay, I'm just realizing this is very similar to Panama on the breakdown um, right before the guitar solo, or is it after? But he's using kind of those double stop kind of plucked kind of thing um, 
I'm not saying it's a ripoff of his own song, but it's kind of cool that that's part that I'd never noticed. We love you, people! There you have it van halen in their prime killing it with unchained and uh kind of cool to hear it like i said right after panama i just listened to that before i did this one and uh to see a little bit of there's some similarities in that uh, little breakdown um i would say guitar tone wise um you know van halen there's not that much live uh, documentation there's these three songs, so it was three songs. It was uh, Hear About It Later, So This Is Love, and Unchained. So that was the documentation of there. And I, I can't remember, there wasn't a proper live video till Sammy Hagar, um, Live Without a Net, or maybe there's another one or something, which I paid zero attention to. But, um, and then that, that last tour they did uh, live in Tokyo, which I've heard, and I was actually, I, I thought it was pretty good. Um, I was reticent to listen to it because I just thought there's a reason why they didn't have live records, um, and it's not because of the band. And as much as I love Dave, and without Dave, there's no Van Halen, you know, I think they were a live band, and in the spirit of that, it can't always be captured to the degree you would want it to be, you know, as far as performance, as far as... Dave's concerned, I think. So that's a lot of um, guessing on my part, but I always thought that was it. And I don't know why they just didn't film this whole concert, because it's actually all three of those songs, as I remember, and after watching this one, are a great rep representation of them. All the energy, all the cool stuff. Eddie's guitar sounds pretty great. It's not what it's like now, or sorry, but, you know, in 2015... On that last tour it was massive then so um it's kind of interesting on the record that's a pretty big guitar sound and live things are so different you know you can't recreate that especially in 1981 um and have uh a great show every time or whatever but i mean these performances are stellar uh from my point of view so anyway um if you made it this far, I really miss Eddie a lot. Um, it's hard. Uh, someone that kind of just basically reinvented guitar, and you can debate that, I guess, if you want. But I know, you know, without him, a lot of stuff wouldn't have happened uh, as far as guitar playing goes. And he was a truly gifted natural musician. And a, 
and didn't follow a lot of rules. And so um, I put him up there with Alan Holsworth, Jimi Hendrix, you know, John McLaughlin, Robert Fripp, uh, Charlie Christian, you know, name, name uh, Django Reinhardt, basically um, virtuosos that uh, redefined the instrument, speaking of guitar, and changed it monumentally. And there's been many since that have kind of, you know, Steve Vai's incredible, or there, Al Demiel is incredible. You can name a thousand players that are great, but none of them but a handful of change guitars total trajectory on once you heard them. And Eddie Van Halen might be the pinnacle of that. Everyone that loves like adventurous, like great soloist guitars with great tone, here's Van, uh, like uh, Alan Holsworth and is blown away, but it's not captivating from a pulp, like a pop culture sense. Like, yeah, every musician, every guitar player respects Alan Holsworth, but there's many people that never even touched a guitar that thought Eddie Van Halen was incredible. That, and to be honest, there's probably millions that picked up a guitar because of Eddie. And with Alan, most people probably set their guitar down because it seemed um, inconceivable that you could do all that stuff on guitar. So, um, yeah. I, I suggest if you love Eddie Van Halen and you haven't checked out uh, Dweezil's podcast, uh, Running with the Dweez, uh, the first two episodes are worth just buying. If you don't hear any of the others, it, it's worth it because it's him and Steve Vai and Dweezil between the two episodes breaks down these incredible experiences uh, with Eddie that I, there's nothing like it. Nobody... No guitar players had someone like that, a mentor. Uh, and actually, Steve Vai is probably one to some degree, and of course, Frank was to some degree. But Eddie had like an active hand in Dweezil's guitar playing. And um, it's just beautiful stuff. And uh, it's great having Dweezil tell Steve stuff that he had never known and and um, all of that. So... Uh, I have a huge affinity for Frank Zappa as well as Eddie Van Halen and that the tie is Dweezil. Um, and Dweezil's an incredible guitar player too. So anyway, uh, it's a little bit emotional talking about Eddie Van Halen, so I'm just kind of talking. So if you miss Eddie, uh, you're not alone, obviously. That was a pretty big blow. And I can think of only a handful, hand, um, I can only think of a, a couple others that had that impact on me. One being Frank Zappa, uh, one being David Bowie, one being Eddie Van Halen, and probably some others. But for some reason, the, these ones, including Eddie Van Halen, are really hard to kind of imagine that he's gone. So, but he is. So. Anyway, let's keep it going. I'm Brian. This is Guitar Solo Reactions. Thanks for being with me. Thanks. Bye.